ring, she wrote. Should be this ring-shaped ancient structure, I guess. Wow! It's really huge now that we look at it. Next, hanging eaves. If we look from here... Is it that pavilion? Hmm. It does look quiet. Should be a nice place for meetings. <sighs> Ugh, getting eepy again. That must be the place, then. I'll get going. Apologies for my delay. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh? And what makes you think so? Those tokens from Jin Shi. It was your idea, was it not? <laughs> so, you've guessed it. Sorry, Rover. Jinjo faced multiple threats back then, and we had to be cautious. We did not intend to inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. Still, I owe you an apology in person. This time, I just wanted to see you. The brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken words. I am very grateful you decided to come. Apologies for giving you that impression, Rover. That's not how we treat our saviors. I merely have a few questions. And I was wondering if you may have the answers. Does this game of Weichi look familiar to you, Rover? I see. There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have you heard about it? Yes, I have a slightly different version of this tale to share. Centuries ago, a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite their age difference, they soon became friends and often played Weichi together. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them, having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket rotting away. Panicked, 
he bumped into the Weichi board. Despite the interruption, the visitor remained unfazed. They offered the woodcutter some tea, then guided him down the mountain, shielding him from dangerous temporal disruptions. After that, the visitor disappeared. Many years later, the Taoist cultivator became a legendary hermit guru. Upon returning to Mount Firmament in his final years, he reunited with that elusive visitor. The two resumed their unfinished game. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces as a final parting gift. Yes and no. This game is missing the final 20 moves. It is unfinished. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess. The story changed over time, infused with fantasy in each retelling. But that's how old tales go, slowly losing their truth as they're passed down. Precisely. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic message. This game record can solve the crisis of time. From what I know, only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, controlling time is indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma, at least for now. Yes, we may find a way to heal them. But our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold my teacher's memories, not any real value. So I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please join me? Thank you for lending me a hand. I promise it will be worth your while. Splendid. Very well. Let's meet on the gallery road outside Hongzhen. I still have some preparations to do. Please. Go ahead. I'll join you later. Rover, you're here. 
Well, as the Wayfinder, I do know a couple shortcuts. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely location on my last visit. We'll be heading there. See if we can find anything new. After dealing with those artificers, I ruled out the other locations on my way to join you. But one can only do so much alone. How reliable. Then let's get going. <laughs> Chung Li? What is it? Nothing, Rover. I just thought the snow is beautiful. You seem curious about that ancient structure. It looks familiar. Like the abandoned Court of Savante facility I saw, but bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared along with our Sentinel. Later, the Court of Savante based their Kronos orders on its design. Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow, hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. Did you try it too, Chung Li? <sighs> no. We can see the whole of Hongzhen from here. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. I don't know. Maybe it's because... Your presence makes me feel at ease. Wait! I smell tacit discords in that cave. No, there's more. Tacit discords, humans, and... and... Smells like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Ugh, it's so... Familiar. Come on! After all we've been through, you still don't trust my sniffer? Huh. Be grateful. I'm giving you a warning. Rover? Did something happen? It's in the same direction we're going. Could it be? of climbing. Someone may have been here before us. Get away from me! I can't hold up much longer! Help! Help! Thank goodness! your help. I... I'm okay. Wait. You... Are you... You're that hero who fought against the Stronodian. 
And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate. Everyone's been talking about you. And Lady Chung Li. I, I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. Without your help, I'd have been a goner for sure. I can't die here. Not when I've got someone waiting for me. I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain is still restricted. Before and... Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I... I heard about Mount Firmament's legend, so I came to find its secret. I've only been in the mountain for half a day, Everything was going smoothly before those monsters pounced on me on my way back. <coughs> I must get back. Fooling. She's still waiting for me. It seems he is still hiding something from us. <sighs> he needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Times against us. Agreed. The appearance of tacit discords is indeed unusual. We can ask him later when he's recovered a bit more. On that note, we still don't know his identity. Judging from his uniform, he might be affiliated with the Pioneer Association. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Could be his friend or an acquaintance. Good point, Rover. Let's head back. Isn't that Wu Li? Mm, not really. He showed up in town and started asking weird. The secret of. Oh, he really went up the. No! Sir. I'm not sure. His companions? Um, his gear, though? Yoning's just up ahead. We found... Isn't this Wu Li? What happened? He's one of the pioneer... I remember, he went on... Sub... Yes. Oh. Speaking of... No, I'm not... Go Don't worry. Take it easy. <coughs> Thank you. I'm okay now. Who are you? And Wooly, is he? Yes, I am. Can you please tell me what happened? Fooling! 
Wooly, you're hurt. I've been looking for you. You didn't pick up my calls. Great news, Fuling. I found it. Finally. I found a way to slow down your illness. No more pain, my love. We can finally be together. Forever. You mean that legend? It's real? Fooling, are you... Are you not happy? No, I am. I I'm so glad to hear it. <sighs> yes. Wooly! Thank you, Rover, Lady Chungli. You saved his life. May I please ask, what on earth happened? I've never seen Wu Li like that. So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Was that not the case? N no. I I've been... I I've been waiting for almost a week. I it's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. If it weren't for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. Wooly, he... he did it for me. I used to work as a landscape painter. Wooly and I met through work, and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. Wu Li stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. Until two weeks ago, when he brought me to Hong Zhen, said he had a surprise for me. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip, but he disappeared for seven days. And now he's back, rambling about having found a way to stop my condition from progressing. Mount Firmament's secret of immortality, I presume? Yes. Wooly told me that he's researched and found an untouched paradise on Mount Firmament. A place where time stands still. He said if I live there... My condition would never worsen. It, it, it cannot fully cure me, but at least we can spend eternity together. At first I thought it was just a myth, but then you brought up how he only spent half a day in the mountains. Those were my thoughts as well, but Wu Li seemed very certain.
Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However, thanks to Magistrate Jinshi and Rover, these disruptions have been dealt with. Or so we had hoped. So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the mountains. And unfortunately, Wu Li has stumbled upon one, mistaking it for the legendary cure he was searching for. Little did he know it would only put him in more danger. <sighs> I see. So that's why there are rumors of rangers being here to take care of the leftover tacit discords and block off access to the mountain. Then... If this temporal disruption you speak of is truly so dangerous, Rover, Lady Chengli, please help us get rid of it. For the sake of everyone here. He truly thinks it's the only way to save you. He's willing to take a slim chance just for you. I... Freezing my own time. <sighs> I don't think I should do that. It's not my best option. I appreciate your concerns. But I'll be fine. Dreams always come to an end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> I'm... I'm okay. I haven't talked this much in a long time. I'm just a little tired. I'll be fine after some rest. Once Wu Li wakes up, I'll explain everything to him. If you have any other ideas, just tell him. But if you keep it all to yourself, no one, even those closest to you, will know how you really feel. Yes, I understand. Rover, things are taking a turn. We should probably tell Lady Xing Yi first. What brings you here at this time of the day? I see. Strange appearances of tacit discords in the mountains. And undiscovered temporal disruptions. 
There are several questionable details according to Rover's description. What do you make of Fu Ling's words from earlier, Rover? He claimed to have spent only half a day in the mountains, but it's been seven days since he returned to Hongzhen. That does sound like some kind of temporal disruption, one that wasn't strong enough to affect Hongzhen. After Jinxi's battle with the Sentinel, she ordered Midnight Rangers to patrol Hongzhen and inspect Mount Firmament for any lingering temporal disruptions before reopening it to the public. Rover, you've been exploring the mountains lately, so I'm sure you have a good grasp on Mount Firmament. But if there are any hidden disruptions we missed... Precisely. Yet, why did it reappear at this point? Fu Ling's legend differs from the situation at Mount Firmament we're familiar with. In that tale, mortals were spared the cost of losing years from their lives. He was utterly convinced of his discovery, and he somehow managed to run into temporal disruptions in half a day's time. Also, when I questioned him, he evaded my inquiries. Lies that are most challenging to detect aren't usually outright falsehoods. Rather, they hide parts of the truth. The explorer wanted to save his friend, indeed, but he was also hiding something. I've become rather curious about the truth behind this temporal disruption. Did you notice something, Rover? For someone with a terminal illness, they should hold on to any chance of survival, no matter how slim. Is that what you think? Maybe she's come to terms with her destiny. Or maybe she never planned on continuing to live like that forever. Chang Li? <laughs> well, please pardon my baseless speculations. I knew you'd notice, too. The frequency disturbance here is weak. It's similar to past temporal disruptions at Mount Firmament, but not exactly the same. Master Xuanmiao's records show that this is where the game record last appeared. This is also where we found that explorer. As Chang Li mentioned, this anomaly may indeed have something to do with that legendary game record. Exactly. If this were to be the case, then we are not the only ones searching for its whereabouts. The explorer did not tell us about his source of information. 
But his knowledge of Mount Firmament far exceeds that of a first-time visitor. You mean... Got it. The Midnight Rangers will block all entrances to the mountain for now. And Chang Li, you still have the power to send in garrison troops as needed. We left Mount Firmament in a hurry. I need to go back up the mountain and investigate further. I have some theories that could use confirmation. We're still unsure about the exact location and range of the temporal disruption. Regardless, its reappearance is a pressing issue that needs our attention. It may get dangerous. Well then, thank you, Rover. Thank you again for your help. You were supposed to be here for a relaxing time. But it seems another crisis has popped up. Do take extra caution. Now it has become quite cl I had my speculation. Fooling has come to terms with her impending death. She doesn't buy into the legends of immortality. Instead, she simply wants to make the most of the time she has left and fulfill her and Wu Li's dreams together. If Wu Li wants to reach that so-called paradise, He'll be trapped inside forever. It also means he'll have to give up his entire future as an explorer. That is not what she wants for him. Her ultimate desire is for her lover to embrace her inevitable passing and to realize the joint aspirations they hold in her place. She hasn't given up, but rather clings to hope for their future. Hmm? <laughs> Is that how you see me? Hmm. But let's stay focused on the issue. While the diary is cryptic, it's it's no coincidence. All the clues point to a correlation between the temporal Yes. Information on the actual powers of Jue. This isn't the kind of information. I guess our old friends have still not given up. They went to great lengths just to lead us here. According to the information in my master's... The place we're looking for... Is that? The chaotic temporal disruptions are even clearer to see. Traces of excavation on the ground. It looks like someone was trying to dig a hole with their bare hands. This is a Weichi board. 
The abnormal time flow here is most likely caused by the Chronosword. Marvelous play. Truly remarkable. Occupying both solid territory and influence, an extraordinary move. Never had I imagined I'd experience... Please, <laughs> no need. This is... my ma... Who do you think the other person looks like? It has been death. Well, turns out, so you were a new I... <coughs> Every move in Wei Chi is fluid and un... My clan are a group of hermits. Oh, but you, my friend, chose to... Now, please don't feel sad for me. If I... When the time comes, the one who shall finish this game of Weiji with you... Or do my plans seem to... risk? There's no need for concern. With her intelligence and quick... The results of this game will decide the fate of Ginger. The road ahead is long and treacherous. You've come this far and followed us here, yet you ha Don't assume you'll always be in control, Chung Li. Our friendly chat is over. It's time to say goodbye. Still not giving up yet, Chung Li. We know more than that unfinished game. We are well aware of the price you have paid. You're dangling at the end of your rope. Your unwitting trail has led us straight to our heart. Oh, is that so? Who's the caged bird now? Together we fight! Our lights shine through. The Sonoro Sphere is open! Go! Sorry. But you're not getting past me. Jue's formidable time-bending abilities at their peak, all trapped within this Sonoro sphere, as I'm sure you are. Do you really want to chase after this legend when you don't even? So what? Wouldn't it be a sight to behold as this Sonoro sphere consumed? Anyway, Rover. You are indeed very special, as the Excellency foretold.
unfamiliar space. No sign of the Fraxidus. Chung Li's nowhere to be seen. No! Don't come any closer! was attacked by tacit discords. There's nothing left. Why did you come here? No one but the exiles are willing to stay here now. Are you a bad person? That's what all bad people say. Whatever you're looking for. There's nobody here but... Me and the tacit discords. When I'm here, no one's afraid of me, and I won't hurt anyone. Anyway, you should hurry up and leave. It's not safe for you to be here. in a Sonora sphere shouldn't be able to hold a conversation like this. Is she a younger version of Chun Li? Huh? Why did you stop talking? Are you lost? I... I can take you somewhere safe. I know a shortcut that leads to a safer village. Is there something like this here before? These mechanisms. They need to be unlocked from both sides at once. Okay, let's each handle one side. I'll go over there. Seems a bit different from what I remember. Shadow descent. One with the sounds. Tell truth to some. Embrace the change. <laughs> Negligence on my part. on my part. <sighs> These are... the villagers. Attacked by tacit disc... Why... 
There weren't any of them here before. Don't worry. My fort... The village I lived in got destroyed by those scary... They hid me in a safe basement. While everyone else died or went when I came out. Now... I must get to somewhere sick. Okay. Um, could these be enough for your needs? Tell me if there's anything else. There's a piece of paper! If I had... More tacit discords. I'll handle them. Okay. Endure and defy. Strike is one. Fluorescent shadows. Is this? Key to that door? Yes. Could these be enough for your needs? Tell me if there's anything else you want. too, you know. Nothing's brighter and warmer than fire. It can burn away the cold. That... 
The resonator who taught me about my forte said, if I don't use it properly, I'll die young. They also said a lot of things I couldn't understand. Told me I shouldn't use it too often. But if I don't use my forte, I'd get eaten by the tacit discords or kill. What's the point of living a longer life if I can't even survive? I want to live. I want to have good control of my power and... And then? And then, yes. But I've still got lots to learn. Thank you. I want to become as strong as you. I... What a strange place. It's supposed to look familiar, but there are so many things I've never seen before. This door... I don't know why, but I keep getting the feeling that I've been here before. It's so weird. Let's look around. Maybe we'll find something. As I stepped inside, both Rover and the Fraxidus vanished into thin air. The frequencies are constantly changing, and the flow of time is chaotic, just like it had been on Mount Firmament. A Sonorosphere affected by temporal disruption. Once someone enters, there's risk of being stuck inside forever. And if my master had planned all of this, did he do this to mislead? To separate? Or perhaps... I should be careful. Whatever the case, I must find Rover first. I found these all my- Ha! <laughs> you think I'm buying this story? This is all- Why don't we? We've got plenty of- <sighs> I can do it. Yes. Back then, I didn't know how to control my flames. I could only brute force my way out of it. My body was always covered in burns. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
in play. Take four. Beckon the divine flame. Yeah, together we fight. Oh, Lord, strength here. Please strike back. enough for your needs? Tell me if there's anything else you want. Hey, onwards. This place. This is where Master once lived in seclusion. The spaces are a jumbled mess inside this Sonarosphere. My dear, you've come all this way. I... I am... Y you gave... You misunderstood my intentions. When I sought shelter in your hideout during the rain, I gave... But... But you told me... The pack... Well now... Uh, I only said those... I've heard Master Xuanmiao is a wise hermit guru who helps people. Can you... Maybe take me as your apprentice? I've been so... I want to live. Learn to control my power and become stronger. Do you know what defines it? I think... I think it... I... Is this flame manipulation? Such a fearful power. If not used wisely, it... I can teach you how to control your power. But in this world of ups and downs, relying solely on brute force will not get you... If you long for a peaceful and prosperous world, you must utilize your own intellect to choose, strategize. Come over, child. You bear the powers of flame manipulation. A phoenix born from fire. One that shall bring peace to this world. From this day on, your name will be Chung Li. Do you have to go, Master? Oh, my time in this world is up, my child. Are you going to a dangerous place alone? Oh, it's not your turn to go there yet, Chung Li. You are a very gifted child. But the price you pay for forcefully employing your forte can never be erased. Oh, your lifespan is... Yes. Remember what I have taught you. Ponder carefully, plan. Chung Li will remember you, but Master... When you need only use your... He is the only one who can truly change this way. I believe I've found this Weiji board and the Sonoro... The end of the Sonoro speech. I guess this is another riddle from my master.
think I'm remembering something. I've been looking for something. I don't know. But I'm starting to wonder why I'm even here. Everything looks so different from what I remember. And why do you look so familiar? We've never met before. Hmm? <laughs> We might be able to open that door with it. What will we find behind that door? Yeah. I hope so. Unexpected discovery. <sighs> A scheme will be grander than naught. I wish malevolence in its nascent guise. Master? Child Lee. You have done well. Now that you have found the answers you seek, it is time to begin your journey. From this moment on, the choices you make and the plans you lay out, they will all lead to that future. Sorry I kept you waiting. This place! It... Run! It, it, it's a trap! They played us!
Don't worry. This game is almost over. Can you feel it? It's warm. Doesn't hurt at all. See? It's so beautiful. Oh, Wu Li, this is the miracle we've been waiting to see. It, it's... Fooling. It's over. Did you find what you were looking for? Thank you for your help. The Midnight Rangers have successfully apprehended all remaining Fraxidus members in the mountains, and the effects of the temporal disruption have now vanished. I lost all contact with you during this whole time. Did you run into any trouble? Temporal disruption hidden inside a sonorosphere. I never thought the solution would be to burn down the entire... You went too far back there, Chang Li. I know my limits. Rover. Lady Chang Li. Wu Li is fine now, thanks to his doctor's help. As for me, well, at least I can still walk a bit. After all, it's been almost five days. I never properly thanked you for bringing me back. No need. The Fraxidus had their eyes on the same thing. We will never forget how you said. As for the truth behind the so-called secret of him, I had a gut feeling it would turn out to be a disappointment. But this isn't the f I've talked about it with fooling. I'm too... <laughs> Until the day when I can no longer hold a pen. I've already talked to the folks at the publishing house. My eventual departure may be unavoidable, but I want to give it my all until the very end. I know you've already looked past death, but remember, there are people who care about you. Yes, I understand. We could stay together a little longer. If... Of course, Fu. It's not time to be sad yet, is it? I've compiled a list of renowned doctors in Huang Long. They're highly skilled and may offer assistance for your medical condition. Lady Chung Li. No need for thank. If you're feeling generous, and want to repay me, I hope to see Fu Ling's work in the next issue of Artists of Huang Long. Everyone's been missing seeing their favorite landscape artists work lately. Are you surprised? 
Well, now I'm curious. Now that the situation has been resolved, you should return to Hongzhen. You deserve some good rest. After going through so much... Me? Well, I think... <laughs> well... It's getting late. Maybe we should wait until we get back to discuss anything else. Two days have passed since Cheng Li told me that she and Xing Yi would handle the aftermath. I wonder how she's doing. Are you worried? Let's just go ask her then. Might as well. Cheng Li can be difficult to find. Let's go ask Xing Yi first. Greeted, were almost they what Chang Li recounted to. I've put together a thorough report for City Hall. We parted. Perhaps she's just taking some. Chang Li, meet her. She also said. How are you feeling, Rover? Well rested, I hope. Aw, can't you see I'm perfectly fine, sitting right in front? Don't worry, Rover. We're only having a casual conversation today. Nothing besides. You only agreed to join me here for more questions, right? Oh, is that... Sure. Ask away. I'm happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Indeed, those memories, they were all... Yes, that's all in the past. Just a little homeless girl with no name. I never thought we could make new memories in the Sonorosphere, where only the past repeats. A moment of companionship and protection meant... I can sense your unspoken question. Did I sacrifice my life when I burned down the Sonorosphere? Like, what I told you there was true. But I've grown and gained control over my powers. Using my forte now won't... Also, if you really ought... We mortals come and go. Our... I see. Perhaps this is why it's so hard to leave. Then, would you be willing to finish that game of Weichi with me instead?
the young orphan girl carried on. Everywhere she looked, tragedies rampant. As lament engulfed the globe, a world torn by monsters, filled with homeless souls. With her own blood as fire, she drove away the cold. And her master said, In this tumultuous world, lives are fragile as mayflies. She couldn't exhaust herself to save those before her. But she must endure to ignite a brighter tomorrow. She wielded her wits to evade harm, treading on knives with care. Alone, yet maturing through stumbles. Later on, she became someone else's teacher. She taught the future leader this, to guide conscience and secure prosperity for the people, to continue lost teachings of past sages and establish peace for all. I will be the torchbearer, for one person can't rid the world of chaos alone. One day, a future of prosperity and lasting peace will arrive. <laughs>